Hello and welcome to the Pin Man. Today we are going to be looking at this uh, really nice looking pin, nice writing pin. This is the Hongdeon N8, Nancy 8. This pin has a, is made with a uh, turned acrylic. It is, I, I would call this a red wine uh, color and it has uh, some red pearlescence swirl in it, uh, gold oak leaves on the cap. The body and cap begin, uh, they both begin wider in the middle and taper down slightly on the end. It uh, pretty much stays the same width till about here and then you can feel it going down and then uh, the cap starts to recede just a little bit uh, sooner but then it right about here it starts coming down the appointments on this pin are rose gold all except for these uh, leaves these oak leaves here they're a uh, basic gold the body has these two rose gold rings about 15 millimeters from the finial the body finial is uh, flat it's almost like a, if you could take a, like a copper coin, <laughs> it's like a coin shape that's stuck on there. And um, yeah, it's, uh, there's nothing to it. It's just flat. It looks nice. The cap has a thin band and on it, it reads LT Hongdeon. Not sure what the LT stands for. I don't think it's limited edition, but anyway. And then on the back side, it has N as in Nancy 8. The cap finial is also uh, flat, but on the sides there, it kind of has a beveled side. So it adds a little more style to it and then there's this single oak leaf on the top i kind of at first it somewhat bothered me that this oak leaf was not straight with the uh the clip but you know i think that was intentional because if you as you look at the oak leaves on the cap they are all kind of cockeyed too they're tilted to the left or uh, to the right and they're, they're not straight up and down either so that's probably why uh, they put the oak leaf in that fashion on the cap finial. The cap opens with a nice one rotation just slightly more. <laughs> Let's see if I kind of loosen it there just slightly more, not even a quarter. So that's really nice. Inside the cap, it, you can see this very long, it is a, it's plastic all the way down uh, to the end of the barrel there, or, you know, to the end, you know, the cap finial, all the way down. And then up toward the top is where they have the threads made. But yeah, it's kind of, wasn't just a, uh, single plastic uh, threaded area that was inserted there. It's all the way down. The clip on the pin is a, you know, it's just a standard uh, clip as it uh, connects to the uh, cap finial. It is a rather tight uh, fit to it or tension there. And so when you go to put it on a shirt pocket, you are going to definitely need to help it out a little bit, but uh, it's very secure, nice looking, nice looking clip, just a basic style, but nice looking. As we look at the grip, the threads on the grip are barely noticeable. They, uh, they don't take up much space there, as you can see. And uh, yeah, when you're when you're holding it, you don't you don't really notice it. You can feel feel them, but you don't really notice it. The step down is you can kind of see it with that background there. 
is squared, but it's not, I don't find it sharp. I mean, I guess if you press down on it hard, it might, could be, but uh, as you're, again, like the threads, as you're holding, holding it, uh, holding the pen, it doesn't, you don't notice it. I can move my, my thumb, my finger on it, and it's not irritating at all. The grip has a nice length and a nice girth. The girth is the same 13 millimeters from uh, the base of the grip up to this gold band at the end of the grip. The end of the grip has this gold rose ring and it has a slight step down from there to there. And then as you turn it, you can see there's a little bit of step down inside uh, just before the feed housing. For the nib, this is a number six nib. Now Hong Dion calls it a number 35. And what that means is from the nib tip to the base of the nib inside there, it's 35 millimeters. I measured it and that is the, the case. And that is a standard length. I have another, I have a Yovo nib uh, that I measured and uh, same, same exact of a Yo Yovo nib. It is number six, six millimeters there at the base uh, of the nib. And uh, so, yeah, so that's just a number six. Now, I think there's, uh, they also, Hongdian also has a 32, a number 32. And I would bet that that's probably close to a number five Yovo or perhaps Bach nib. There's three tip sizes that this pen come, uh, that this nib comes in, extra fine, fine, and medium, which I am really thankful for. I, I think those are the three sizes that all these pin manufacturers really should should offer uh, that meets the uh, the needs of people that like Chinese Japanese script and so forth that need that real fine line, but also uh, for those that like a little bit broader writing experience. The design on the nib. I tried to look up what that design was, what it's supposed to be, but I couldn't find anything specific. So I'm just going to call it a flower. Let's call it a Hong Dion flower. And then beneath that, it reads since 1997, then Hong Dion and a, an M in brackets for medium. And again, that uh, 35. Open this up and you find on the inside, this is metal with the rose gold uh, threads there and it does have a, an O-ring. This pen comes with a converter. Now, I have made the mistake with these Hongdeons in calling this a standard international. This is not a standard international. A standard international will not fit in this pen. This is a proprietary cartridge. The opening, uh, Hong Dion calls it 3.4, but when I measured it, it was pretty, pretty right on a four millimeter uh, in diameter uh, hole opening. Uh, typical, when I measured my standard international, it was uh, three millimeters so the opening is different and that will go with uh, that goes for all of their pins that i know of and i i went and checked the another hong Dion that i have and sure enough it's got the same i think a couple of pins i have same converter so uh, that was my fault uh, for saying that um by the way give you a look at the feed there just a basic plastic feed. Okay, on the inside of this pen, it is just nothing. <laughs> All right, I mean, it's just straight plastic, no inserts. All you're gonna do is find uh, the finial at the bottom, the metal finial, but these are plastic threads here, and, uh, and then plastic threads 
on the inside of the barrel. So you're going to have plastic on plastic there. Uh, this is the threading is fairly tight. So, and there's enough threads there that if you wanted to, uh, after checking for leakage, of course, uh, to experiment and uh, with this being a eyedropper uh, capable pin, uh, the only metal is there where those threads are, but yeah, you got plenty of threads to put some silicone grease and you have that rubber gasket to boot. All right. As far as available colors, unfortunately, this pin only comes in two and I'll put that one up there. It's a white and instead of leaves, oak leaves, it has feathers on the cap. But uh, yeah, that's it. This, uh, this pin runs uh, around $30 and I got this off of eBay. So uh, you wanna check that out. Okay, here are the dimensions of the pin. And I'll be back then for some size comparisons. All right, here we have the Hongdian N8 next to the Mahjong P136. On the one side, then on the other side, we have the Diplomat Arrow and the Lamy Safari. And here they are uncapped and posted. All right, before we do a writing sample, uh, didn't show you this pin posted. It does post. It does post securely. It is a little back weighted with the metal cap uh, and the, it does, the band does kind of tend to rub on your knuckle there, but it will post. So if you like that, and we have the Hongdian. Hongdian N8, this is a medium. The ink I'm using is Noodler's. Red, black. The nib is very smooth. It isn't a real wet writer. It almost kind of feel like it's starting to dry out a little bit, but so going uh, left to right, it really puts out some ink. Uh, just the opposite, not so much. Up and down, not so much. A little bit lighter there. As far as wetness, it's like I said, it's kind of dry. That may be uh, the ink as well. Now, if you're writing small, it's a little bit juicier there, but, um, or if you like to put some pressure on it, we'll give you a little bit more there. As far as reverse writing, that works. There's no scratchiness. It's, it really is a pretty smooth and reverse writing so you got that uh, the flow on the flow on this pen it does <clears throat> maybe it's just recently but um, maybe it's the ink but anyway it like I said it does kind of write a little dry but overall it is a smooth nib uh, overall yeah I like this pen and I will be be back with uh, some uh, closing thoughts on the Hongdian in eight. All right, pros and cons. First, the cons is that uh, one is there's few, you know too few designs, but you know that's okay. And if you will, a con could be that it has the proprietary 
uh, cartridges and converters. Uh, pros, you have the three nib tip sizes, the extra fine, fine, and medium, which I appreciate them throwing in the medium there. And then the cap, it's a one rotation cap, so easy on, easy off. Uh, the Hongdian N8, it's a very nice rider uh, with nice aesthetics. I, I like that uh, pearlescence in there, the red pearlescence. This is a turned acrylic. This is not injection molded. And then you have on the cap, uh, red paint with a gold oak leaves. The size and weight of this pen in hand, especially if you're using it unposted, is just right. It's not, the size is not too big, it's not too small. The weight is not too heavy, it's not too light, but of course all of that is subjective. Uh, you may like them one way or the other, but I think, I think this is just a, this pen just, this pen just feels good in my hand. So for $30 uh, US dollars, uh, I really don't think you can go wrong with this pen. All right, thanks for watching and you have a great day.